Hey everyone, just uh, wanted to welcome you to my latest haul video. Uh, books I'm going to be showing you have been purchased either online or through an original owner collection that I've been purchasing uh, periodically. I've spoken of this before. Also um, picked up a bunch of stuff on eBay that I want to show you guys. But uh, first of all, let me just show you my newest Wolverine statue. And I thought this thing was incredible. It's a... Uh, Cody Bayuku, I, I'm going to screw the name up there, but they, they, they do a great job. They've got a, it's on a sentinel headpiece, if you could see there. Um, had this on order for a while, waiting for it to come. Just got it in the other day. I just ordered the uh, Rogue one that from this series. Should be coming out sometime in November, so if you get a chance and you're into statues like I am, you know, take a look at the detail on this. It also comes with an interchangeable head, so that you'll have a Wolverine Unmasked also so get the chance to take a look at it uh first book i want to show you here is a uh, walking dead 100 second print variant um picked these up on mile high comics i know they're usually a little pricey but they had a half price off sale so uh these came out to about six dollars each seen them sell on ebay for approximately like 15 20 dollars so picked up two copies of that uh next book i picked up off that mile high oh uh, website was uh Bloodshot number six, first appearance of Ninjack. These books were, uh, with the discount, were $3 each. So I, I picked up four of them. Uh, you know, $3 a piece. Can't go wrong. Next book I picked up, uh, these books are some eBay purchases I made. It is, excuse me for the glare. Batman Annual number two. And this is the first appearance of Eric Border, who later on is revealed to be a, uh, Identity used by the Joker. Great storyline. You know, Snyder just did a phenomenal job on this New 52 stuff. So if you haven't read it, you know, jump on it and read it because it's just good, good stuff. Another book that I've been trying to get these books little by little. Some of them become a little pricey after a while. Is X-Men 303. This is the uh, Pressman variant. For those of you who don't know, the Pressman variants were uh, included in a, a board game back in the day. I believe uh, issue 297 is the rarest of all of them. It was like a, a mail-in entry that you had to send. So I just picked up 303. This was in about a VF shape. So, you know, jumped on it when I could. Uh, got this off of uh, Seller on Atomic Avenue for $3. And it's, once again, X-Men number 128. I've shown this video, be shown this on my videos before. I pick this up every chance I get. It's first appearance of Phantom X. Another book I always pick up, and uh, again, another $3 book, was New X-Men 134. This is the first Quentin Quire. Uh, next book I picked up, and I've been picking up some of these Valiants, you know, more of a speculation thing than anything else, is Eternal Warrior, number five. And this is the first full appearance of Bloodshot. So, uh, you know, good book to have. Next book I want to show you, a book that uh, I'm kind of speculating on. And that's, I picked up three copies, uh, you know, $2 a piece. And that's uh, Immortal Iron Fist, number four. The Iron Fist uh, series coming to Netflix soon. I believe this might be the storyline that they're going to follow there. And this is the first appearance of the Serpent King. So, uh, you know, good book to have. Good storyline anyway. You know, done by Brewbreaker, so, and Matt Fraction, so, you know, good story. And Immortal Iron Fist. Number eight, which is the first appearance of the Immortal Weapons, a uh, group of fighters that are first introduced in this book. Uh, also, I just picked up online Daredevil 197. Those of you that don't know, this is the first appearance of y Yukio, Yuriko, I'm sorry, Yuriko, who uh, becomes Lady Deathstrike. All these books I'm picking up, I'll show you, are in the VF, near mint shape for the most part. Uh, just nice books to have part of my collection. You know, I'm always buying and speculating. So Batman 535, I believe this is the variant cover for first appearance of the ogre. Then, uh, said I wasn't going to do it, but just couldn't help myself. Uh, picked up some Secret Wars variants just because I liked the covers. Uh, this is the Amanda Connors uh, variant. Just like the way she did uh, all the women involved in Peter Parker's life. You know, nice book. Uh, this was also a variant I got for cover price at my shop. And, you know, again, these guys are great with me. 
take care of me with variants and everything else, so I'm always buying stuff there. I really like these. These are uh, the uh, superhero action figure variants. So pick this up, Spider-Man and his Secret Shield. Uh, also picked up the Scott Young variant. And last but not least, I got this at cover price from my store. And that's the Jimmy Chung 1 in 100 variant from uh, Secret Wars number one. Real happy to have been able to pull this from my shop. You know, big shout out to the guys at Comic Book Jones again. They do the right thing by me all the time. Next uh, set of books I'm going to go through. Like I said, I buy books from this guy. Uh, he's had his collection going on since early 70s. Little by little, he's liquidating. I've been purchasing a lot of stuff off of him. Uh, again, the glare on this is pretty bad. I haven't changed the bag, as you can see. But this is Defenders 27. And that'll be the first appearance of Starhawk. You know, this book here, it's probably in a fine. It's got some ticks to it. Got a couple of issues in the back cover. But good book to have. I'll take it. I believe Starhawk is probably going to be in the next Guardians of the Galaxy. So, you know, just my speculation. Also, as you know, I've been uh, trying to get my run of Amazing Spider-Man going good. It's Amazing Spider-Man number 140. And this issue will have the origin of the Grizzly. And it, all these books, as you can see, although they're original owners, this guy always took care of his books. So he right away read them, bagged them, boarded them. So they're all probably in the VF or VF minus shape. Really good shape, though. Also picked up Amazing Spider Man 147. There we go. 147. Appearance by the Tarantula. You know, nice book to have. Next book I picked up from him, Amazing Spider-Man 167, first appearance of Will the Wisp, it's a minor character, you know, again, uh, Spider Slayer's in this, I believe it's like the fourth version that gets destroyed, but uh, just nice book, you know, fillers for my uh, Amazing Spider-Man run, Amazing Spider-Man number 181, just a nice cover there, shows all villains, shows Lizard, Doctor Doom, Dr. Octopus, Kingpin. Nice book. Real nice book. Uh, next book we got there. Amazing Spider-Man number 183. Nothing uh, you know, major happens in these books. Just regular storylines, but you know, needed them for my collection. Got them at a good price. I always love this cover. It's Amazing Spider-Man 187. Got uh Spider-Man battling Captain America there. A little bit of Electro in the background, if you can see it. Oh, yeah, good book. And the last Spider-Man book I bought from him. Amazing Spider-Man number 191. Uh, next books I'm going to show you. These are a little more uh, along the fine to VF price range. This is uh, Avengers number 34. And this is the first living laser. This, one's, this book's probably fine, you know. It's got some ticks along the side of it. You know, the edges aren't completely crisp. But, you know, nice old school Avenger book to have in your collection. Also picked up this. I mean, the colors on this still pop. They're really vibrant. And this is Avengers number 35. Picture Goliath on there. Old school Hawkeye there. You know, just good stuff. Also, Avengers number 43. First appearance of the Red Guardian. Um, you know, this book, a little bit of an issue, probably a fine, a little bit of a spine issue. If you go down, and see it right there. You know, still, nice, nice book to have in the collection. And the last Avenger book I picked up from him was Avengers number 47. And this is the first appearance of Dane Whitman, who uh, later on becomes a Black Knight. Has a long story arc with uh, the Avengers. I believe he joined the Defenders for a while also. So, you know, nice book to have. Uh, also picked this up from him. I got this for a real good price. Uh, the Secret Wars number eight. Everybody knows what this is, but it's the first appearance of, you know, the black costume. You know, nice book. Happy to get it. Also been working on my Daredevil run with him, especially my uh, Frank Miller run. So, Daredevil 170. First uh, Kingpin story arc in Daredevil. Just a great storyline if you haven't read it. I also picked up 
171 and 172. So just, you know, bullseye, kingpin, can't beat it, good stuff. Also picked up from him, 174, classic cover, Gladiator and Electra in it. You know, that Frank Miller run, as I always, I keep talking about it, but I just love it to death. And uh, with Electra coming up, hopefully in the season two or season three, if they get that far, uh, might be a hot book to get. Now the book I keep picking up, I believe this is my third copy, Power Man and Iron Fist number 50. Um... First time that they get together and have their own title. I believe 48 is the first appearance of uh, Iron Fist in a, in a Power Man title. But 50 is the first time that this book uh, becomes Power Man and Iron Fist. So just good book to have. Uh, next two books I won at an online auction. And they were Omega Man number 2. And Omega Man number 3. First appearance of Lobo. Got these pretty cheap so had to jump on it. Another book I've been buying, all issues I can of, is Ultimate Comics Spider-Man. Picking up this whole Miles Morales run. I just enjoy the whole story arc. It, it's really good. Bendis did a really good job on this. A few more books for you just stand by. Picked this up just because I like the cover. Got it for a decent price at an online community I'm on. And this is the, the Chicago Comic Con and Expo. Bloodshot Reborn variant. Uh, haven't even read this yet, but love the cover, love the artwork, so, you know, jumped out to me. Another book I got on my online community, this book is pretty hot right now, is X-Men Swords of Braddock. You can see this book going for anywhere, I believe between $20 and $30, so got it for a good cost. Another book I picked up, another hot, hot book, is the Uncanny X-Men 510 J. Scott Campbell variant. Mm. See this on eBay, this book goes quite a nice penny. I got this for about 20 bucks, so not bad. Won these at an online auction the other day, and that's Ninja Turtles number five. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number six. Both of these are first prints. Nice books to have, you know. Short runs on these books. You know, look at the artwork on that stuff. You can tell, you know, this, these are uh, just made by private industry guys who, who made it big and, you know, took something small, an idea that they had, and uh, they felt would do something big and put their own money into the comic and it took off, you know? Look at them now, what the success, what the Turtles have become since then. Who would have thought that back then? Another book I've been picking up left and right if I can is uh, Dark Knight. This is issue uh, two. I also picked up issue three. One of my last videos, I showed you issue uh, four. I actually I haven't picked up Dark Knight number one. It's a bit pricey, but uh, I'm looking. If I'm going to buy it, I'm going to buy it in great condition. And the last book I'm going to show you, I mean, I have two copies of this already. This is probably my best copy, but this is one of my favorite books of all time. Anytime I see it at a great price, I'm going to pick it up. And that's Uncanny X-Men number 94. Let's take a look at this. This book here, when I saw this and I saw the price on it, just want to come close and show you guys, but really doesn't have that many issues to it. You know, it presents really well. Nice, nice, nice book. Minimum, I would say a minimum of a 6.0, probably would have pressed. If I can get a 7, 7.5 7 on this, I'd be extremely happy. Got this book for about $150. Going right on the 6.0 is about $250. So to me, that was a good deal. And a uh, quick question for everybody. You know, I, we all heard the announcement about New Mutants coming out. I'm wondering, what cast are they going to use? What characters do we feel, everybody there in the community, feel that they're going to use? Are they going to use the original lineup? You know, Cannonball and Sunspot? Or are they going to introduce certain characters from the original lineup and then... Bring in other characters such as magic and stuff. You know, might be something to start looking at for speculation purposes. First appearances of New Mutants are still dirt cheap right now. Legion's another character you might want to think about. But uh, give me your comments on that, you know, your thoughts. And once again, I want to thank all my new subscribers. 
and everyone who follows me. You know, it's a lot of fun doing this. I, I look forward to getting my books and uh, organizing it in a way that might be interesting. If you have any suggestions on anything I should be doing different, you know, or anything else, just reach out to me. I'll try to reach out to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you.